Rome, Chapter 9. This is the vocabulary from Section 1. Virgil was one of the important people in Rome. He was a Roman ep epic poet who drew some of his ideas from Homer's Odyssey. He was the author of the poem, the Aeneid, and that told the story of the Trojan prince Aeneas, and he represented the ideal Roman. He was brave, self-controlled, and loyal to the gods. Galen was a Greek doctor who brought many scientific and medical ideas to Rome, including the importance of anatomy, which is the study of body structure. And in order to learn about inner organs, Galen could open dead animals and record his findings. This led to many new medical breakthroughs. And for more than 1,500 years, doctors in the West studied and learned from Galen's findings. The Colosseum is a famous concrete building that was completed around A.D. 80 or ADC or ADCE. It was a huge arena and it could seat between 50 to 60,000 people and it was used to entertain the public with free games during troubled times in the Roman Empire. The Pantheon is a temple built to honor the Roman gods and its domed roof was the largest of its time. It also had an interesting feature called an oculus and an oculus was the hole in the top of the dome. And because hot air ro rose and would go out of the top of the oculus, it sort of created an internal air conditioning system in ancient Rome. Go to these links to see pictures of the Pantheon. The Forum is an open place that was in the middle of Rome and it served as a marketplace and as a public square. The temples and public buildings were built around it. It was the center of Rome's society. A vault is a curved ceiling made up of rows of arches that were typically built against one another. You can see an example of a vault in the pictures below. Using this technique, the Romans were able to build many rings of shaped stone. An ode is a poem that expresses strong emotions about life. Horace wrote odes throughout his life and was the most famous writer of Roman odes. A paterfamilias was the male head of the household or father of the family. He was responsible and was in charge of all things pertaining to his family. The education, marriage, everything he was in charge of. Rhetoric is the art of public speaking. This was one of the school subjects in ancient Rome. Satire is a writing that teaches by making readers laugh at silly things that humans do. Anatomy is simply the study of body structure. A gladiator is a person who fought animals and other people as public entertainment. And typically criminals, enslaved, or poor people were, they were the ones who would end up being gladiators and they were admired for their feats just like sports figures today are admired for their accomplishments in the athletic arena. However, sports figures today choose to go into this. Most gladiators did not choose their profession. And once again, as a review, aqueducts were these long troughs supported by the arches, and this carried water over long distances and enabled Rome to have a water supply for its city. It provided water for Rome's homes, bathhouses, fountains, and public bathrooms.